The dog races, how they work, and what they do. The dogs and mushers have good communication every day. The new Iditarod record is Dallas that he arrived in 8 days, 11 hours, 20 minutes, and 16 seconds is a new record. Dallas CV was the new champion as well. It says that when Billy was doing the race, they were cold in order for them to stay warm. They had to have a heavy duty jacket. He also says to stay in order for you to stay in control, you have to be sure that your dogs are healthy, good and healthy. Also make sure that they have all the clothing on that they need to stay warm. The weather there is cold. It's like 50 degrees and below. That's cold, cold. Now this is the last great race on earth. He said just this year 85 people entered and a third of them were women. Matthew Fellier said during the summer he only has dogs going 60 to 7 miles a day just to get in shape. The trainings are challenges for the dogs. The mushers stop and they take protective measures or training so the dogs won't overheat. With much volunteer labor, the start of a federal mental Iditarod tradition, the first part of the trail was clear, including nine miles of the Iditarod Trail. That he also took 56 miles, San Antro race between Nike and the Big Lake was held in. 1967 and 1969. Then interest in the race was lost. While the Iditarod was established to be an educational, exciting experience, there are several dangers accompanied to the long journey that can cause major injuries and destruction. Moose, wolves, caribou, buffalo, and other wildlife present in the wilderness can severely hurt the mushers and their teams. An example of this is shown in this video. Not only can wildlife pose a threat, but the environment and durability of the trail can affect them. The snowmobiles used to clear the trail can weaken the trails, which causes the ice to break. For instance, in 1984, Susan Butcher and her dogs fell through the ice but thankfully managed to pull themselves out. Just this year, a man on a snowmobile purposely injured and killed many dogs and their musher. In order to ensure the dog's health during the race, they must undergo many exams before and after. However, many issues still take place from foot problems, dehydration, to viruses and heart problems. The dogs can even strangle themselves with the ropes used to attach them to the sled due to fighting with other teams. In some cases, the dogs are able to break free and run away, but luckily most have microtrips that are used to locate them. Many mushers are accused of abusing the dogs by running them too hard. In addition to this, they are required to take a 24-hour rest, but where this takes place is up to the musher. Not only do the dogs have to rest and stay healthy, but the mushers also must care for themselves. There are many dangers for the mushers. For instance, frostbite and illnesses can set in at any time. However, one of the most dreaded dangers is hallucinations. Hallucinations cause mushers to imagine things that aren't really there. 
For example, they may run over a cliff or get lost by going off the trail. Luckily, other mushers are allowed to help others if in need, but getting help from outsiders can cause penalties. Before the race, many volunteers check and clear the trail in order to postpone any accidents from taking place. However, those competing in the race must take matters into their own hands in order to prepare their mental and physical well-being for the tenacious adventure. The awards ceremony highlighted the accomplishments of mushers. Some mushers got to speak after the idea. One right now is Dallas CV getting the Golden Harness Award. The award was a harness for one of the dog's teams. Right now he's talking about the miles that took him to get through the entire race. This one right now is Nick the Heat. He's winning the fastest time from safety to number one. The man talking right now is talking about the people who won this award in the past. Right now he's saying that his dogs are really fast so you better watch out for them. This one right now is Jerry Austin getting the Rookie of the Year award. The man talking right now is saying that he's proud of Jerry getting this award. The man is now giving Jerry a slip that has the award written on it. This one right now is Brent Sass getting the First Musher the Ofer Award. The award is a plate is a golden plate that has the award written on it. The last person is John Baker getting the Sportsmanship Award. The man before is talking about the mushers who won this award before. Right now, John Baker is saying that uh, during the race, he helped him. He helped him another musher get out of a problem. Thanks for watching. This one is New Lacto getting the Golden Clipboard Award. Right now, he's saying that. He's thankful for the people for helping him. And now he's saying that he will use this award in the future. Right now, it is Matt Fayler getting the Musher's Choice Award. The man is now giving Matt the slip that has the award written on it. Now he's saying that there are a lot of stories about people getting this award. This one right now is Noah Burmester getting the Most Improved Musher Award. Right now he's talking about the many people that got this award in the past. That's all. Thanks for watching.